What is up, YouTube? It is Doc here, Docky Style Gaming, and I am back at it again with another Godfall video for you all today. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about something that a lot of people have been asking in all my streams, all my videos, and everything, and that's how to get specific gear in Godfall. So I'm not even gonna waste any more of your time because I know a lot of people are curious and wondering, so let's just hop straight into this video. So once again, like I just said, one of the questions I get asked the most is how do I get specific items, whether it's void shell, carnage, augments for specific builds that people have seen or weapons that people have seen as well. They want to know how to get it. Now, the short answer is anywhere for the most part. Now, all loot in game can come from all sources to an extent. The only loot that is tied behind specific spots are cursed items, which are tied to Lightbringer. That's the only place you can get that loot. You're gonna have your primal items that can only drop from Ascended Towers of Trials, and then you have your dual primary weapons that can only drop from Ascended Towers of Trials as well. Now there's also an exclusive charm and amulet that come from a specific boss fight, but that's from the DLC. Now, everything else comes from everywhere. So if you're looking for a Carnage, if you're looking for a Void Shell, those can come from Lightbringer, those can come from Ascended Towers to Trials, those can come from Dreamstones, those can come from just walking around in the open world and randomly killing enemies or opening chests there. Those can come from everywhere. But if you're trying to narrow down how to get it easier, this is probably the best bet. And I have mentioned this before in one of my videos a few weeks ago, but I thought I'd break it down a bit more in this one. So like I've mentioned in my Dreamstone video about a week and a half ago, Dreamstones is the best place to farm loot and resources, not just for leveling up, but also another good way to target very, very specific loot. Ever since Dreamstones got a rework to Dreamstones 2.0, they added the ability to Dreamstone Shape, which allow you to earn very specific rewards while you're running that Dreamstone. So every time you complete a blue boss node, you'll get those rewards. They let you increase the rarity of the rewards and increase the amount that you can get per run as well. So for example, and I actually just did this yesterday just so I could make this video, but I know a lot of people have always asked, where do I get Void Shell? Carnage is another one too, but Void Shell in particular. So I went into a Dreamstone, I went to Dreamstone Shaping, and they gave me the option to earn over health items. Now, when you go to the Void Shell Augment, it says whenever you perform a crit hit, you gain over health for every 20 might. Now that is considered an over health item. So when I go into Dreamstone Shaping, if I want that Void Shell Augment, what I'm gonna have to do is increase the over health item in my Dreamstone Shaping to a Legendary. Now there's still a bit of RNG tied to it, but there's also not too many Legendary over health items in game. So nine times out of 10, you'll be getting a Void Shell or multiple Void Shells per run while you're running that Dreamstone. And there should be some footage in the background of showing all my runs and how many void shells I got while just doing this for about 30 minutes. Now, the only downside to this method is Dreamstone shaping is kind of random. So you're going to have to refresh your options sometimes if you can't find the specific item you're looking to add to your run. And also when running Dreamstones, you can't get primal gear. So Void Shell is one of the few items that can drop as a Primal. So if you're going to want a Primal Void Shell, you're going to have to run Ascended Towers of Trials. But just like Dreamstones or Dreamstone Shaping, Ascended Towers of Trials makes it fairly easy to obtain a Void Shell as well. The only difference is, is that it is a lot more RNG based in Ascended Towers of Trials. But some of the room floors will allow you to get Augments. And considering Void Shell is a Vitality Augment, just make sure you're going through the Vitality door to obtain that Augment. Now again, it'll be all RNG based, but you will have a chance to at least get a Void Show. Now the symbols on the doors also indicate which type of augment you'll get. So the Lion are going to be for Might Augments, the Wings are going to be for Spirit Augments, the Heart is going to be for Vitality Augments, and then if you see one that has a bunch of arrows pointing up, any augment can drop from those floors. So that should help some players at least narrow down what they're looking for specifically for augments. Now for weapons, it's the exact same thing, but those are a bit more self-explanatory since they have symbols and they say what they are on each of the doors. Now, one of the last and honestly best ways to get the specific loot that you are looking for and is one of the most recent features they added in the game is the new quest feature. Now, again, I did a breakdown of this probably two weeks ago, but the quest feature allows you to obtain any item that you have in your inventory, but it'll let you obtain it with a brand new role. So let's just say you have a void shell already, but you don't like those secondary stats. Well, if you go to quest, you can change your rewards that you get once you complete that quest, 
and then it'll let you choose between three different void shells if that's what you equipped as your new reward. And each of those void shells will have different secondaries and sometimes even different primary stat numbers and you can pick and choose which one's best for your build. The new quest feature that was implemented is something that I feel like a lot of people have not been taking advantage of, but it is a really, really good way to get better primals, better cursed items, and some of those exclusive dual primary weapons in the specific roles that you're looking for. Because by changing them out in your rewards, it'll give you a chance to pick between three different ones that might have those stats that you want. And what's also nice about the quest items is that they carry over what type of version of gear you have. So if you have a primal void shell and want your rewards to be primal void shells, all you have to do is select that reward and then boom, you'll have three different primal void shells to look through when you complete your quest. Same can be said with cursed items and awakened items. So if there's a very specific cursed item that you recently awakened, you can select that as one of the items for your quest. And when you claim it, it'll already be awakened at max stats with some brand new roles as well. And same can be said with the dual primaries. So the new quest feature that was added in the game is another really, really good way to get very specific items and the ones that you want in particular. But ultimately, if you don't feel like grinding through Ascended Towers of Trials, and if you don't have enough mirrors of duplication for you to swap out your quest rewards, Dreamstones is still your best bet. Again, you can target the exact types of items that you want and increase the rarity and the amount that you get per run. Every time you complete that run, you'll get chances at getting it. Just from testing yesterday, like I said, for a 30 minute run, I wind up gathering about four or five void shells just by putting legendary overhealth items as one of my rewards. And like I said, this can be for anything. So if there's a physical based item that you wanna get, you can pick physical items and increase the rarity to legendary. Hell, if there's an epic physical item you want, you can increase the rarity just to epic. So every time you complete a run, you'll get a chance at getting that epic physical item. Again, with the whole Dreamstone shaping feature with Godfall, it's made it a lot easier for players to get the specific items, weapons, augments, gear, and pieces that they need for their build. So for those of you who are trying to at least target Void Shell in particular, when you go to Dreamstones, at least try to make sure that you have legendary overhealth items as your rewards on your Dreamstones. For those of you trying to get Carnage, you can put legendary critical items or even legendary might items as well. Again, there's a lot of different variables, but there's also a lot of easy ways to get the specific loot that you want to get. But hopefully this helps y'all out a bit when it comes to trying to get very specific gear in game. When people ask, where can you get anything from? Again, all loot comes from every source in game. Like I said, there are the very specific types, like cursed items that come from Whitebringer, your primal that come from Ascended Towers of Trials, and dual primaries that come from Ascended Towers of Trials as well. But every other type of loot in game can come from every game mode at every source in game. So before you ask, where do you get Carnage or where do you get Void Shell? You get it from everywhere. It's just a matter of identifying the best methods to getting those items. Whether it's adding it as a reward on your Dreamstones, adding the item to your quest rewards, or finding the right doors on your Ascended Towers of Trials, or just dealing with RNG in general when running through all the different game modes in game. But again, hopefully this helps you all out a bit and clears up some of those questions that I always get when it comes to how to find specific gear. Again, let me know if this does help and if you finally started getting some of the loot that you've been looking for after watching this video. Other than that, I am going to wrap it up. So like like I always say thank you all for watching be sure to leave a like if you liked the video and if you didn't still leave a like because nobody's gonna see that dislike anyway and if you haven't joined the discord be sure to do that link is in the video description lfgs builds guides and so much more in the discord the discord link is in the description below other than that i will catch y'all later thanks for the love thanks for the subs peace